Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots cleans their pedal to destroy the evil forces of the Okay guys, here we go. Complete transformation process for Studio Series 86 Voyager Class Retgar. So, what we're going to do first and foremost then, we're going to take the arms at the shoulders, we're going to fold them all the way up, right out of the way. Then it's best if you're going to turn the spikes literally again right at the back. So that'll spin, you'll see that joint on the top of your shoulder, you can spin that right there the same and then you can fold this over which is of course his fists so they're out of the way for now right now what we're going to do then we're going to fold down his whole complete chest part you can now see where you've got the actual front of the motorcycle the top of his head is obviously the faux part we're then going to pull this out because it is stuck inside and then at the same time you can pull the screen up as well we're going to fold that right up out of the way and then what we're going to do now we're going to bring this up and then his head is going to sit into and underneath the front of the motorbike so let's pop this as you can see it's about to slot inside like so and it fits over there now what you've got to do is you've just got to tilt this bit forward and then what we've got to do then is bring the back in line as well so we're going to literally fold the back out the back part is so much more simple to be honest you've just got to then tilt the feet forward by tilting the feet forward you can see there's some tabs there which we're going to connect in a second it may help just to bend at the knees ever so slightly there as well but what we need to do is we need to sort out the back of this and straighten it all up this is i suppose can be the tricky bit because what we've got to do is we've got to push this bit down and keep the head hidden enough so what we can do is we can fold these parts of the shoulders in like so and you can see that in a second we're going to click that tab into there but before we do that i'm going to take one of the wheels i'm going to pop it in like so the same is going to come on this side so this is now folding underneath before i connect the tab in of course i'm going to connect the wheels in like so and then here's where the tabs click in right underneath there you go you probably heard that click this one's going to do the same that's just clicked in perfect and as i said the back is much much more simple you just saw me tilt the rest of that into position it doesn't look like anything without the wheels to be honest there's the tabs that you're looking for so bend the legs right in pushing it back until it fits in like so not so much of a loud click with this one and then before we of course join the rest up let's put the back wheel into position as well bring this down we can then of course now clip this in on that side carry on bending at what is the knee and then you can then al align that last tab up there and then of course if you want you can adjust nipple tweaks and finally bring the handlebars up again if you wanted to the stands are underneath i'm just going to pull the one down and you could rest him like that right then let's go backwards so it's up to you however you want to do it i think to be honest it's probably easier starting with the back again so let's just disconnect the feet open up where the knees have pretty much joined together to allow the wheel to sit in we will take that out we'll turn these out we'll straighten the feet and the legs out then they're done and they're out of the way to be honest then what we've got up the top again separate the hands bring it round and turn these out of the way so we're turning these out of the way this bit's the tricky bit now that I find, to be honest. So what I've got to remember to do is we've got to turn these fully 90 degrees like so. And then you can see we've got a cut out there and a tab there. This is the bit which does get quite tough. You're going to fold it right back in itself. Once you've done that, to be honest, the rest is much, much easier. Keep the arms out of the way. Bring the head out from underneath. Fold it right out of the way. Fold the front of the motorbike down. Clip it right in. Then clip the windscreen in fold this down you see how it pretty much cascaded down on itself and then you're pushing the middle bit in to turn that around in fact i forgot something it's a good job i've done that so i can show you just fold this slightly out again it doesn't it doesn't make a difference keep the head where it is i'm just going to pull the chest bit forward tilt these shoulder bits right back in so they're at a right angle and then that will sit inside there and that will clip into place so the last thing to do was the very very first bit we did you can bring the arms back around. You want the spikes on the outside. And luckily enough, there's a tab there for you to fold the fist out like so. You can bring that down, tilt the handlebars back out of the way as well. So bring this over, 
turn the spike out and of course then fold the fist out. Quite a simple but also very satisfying transformation process. I'm sure you'll agree. There he is anyway. Studio Series A6 Voyager Retgar. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.